Back when I was in school, Pokemon was in its heyday. Everyone was trading cards on the playground, arguing over which legendary is truly the strongest, then racing home after school to watch Ash Ketchum lose another battle. But if that wasn't enough, and if you had the money, you could set out on your very own Pokemon journey on the Game Boy. And you know what I got for my birthday? A Game Boy. And you know what game I picked out? Cats with a Z. But on my next birthday, I got a Nintendo DS and Nintendogs. And a little while after that, I got Pokemon Diamond. Pokemon Diamond was my first Pokemon game. Part of me definitely feels like I missed out on what some would argue was the best generation of Pokemon by not playing Pokemon Red or Yellow or Blue on the Game Boy. But I don't know. I have a soft spot in my heart for the Sinnoh region. Cause boy, did I go on a journey. But you know what other massive handheld RPG video game I know about? That's right, Raid Shadow Legends, the sponsor of today's video. As you know, Raid Shadow Legends has taken over. It's the first game to bring a console level experience to your phone. They've got millions of champion combinations and tactics for you to strategize your journey through battling bosses, defeating dungeons, conquering campaign battles, and playing PVP arena matches. There are over 500 champions to choose from for your team, as well as hundreds of artifacts to equip them with to help you in battle. Use my links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. Since I've been playing Raid, I've built this team of absolute girl bosses. Madame Ceres, Skull Crown, and Harvest Jack. Yes, Harvest Jack is an honorary girl boss. The local witch Madame Ceres will start us off. She can remove all the enemy's buffs and decrease their defense. Then, it's time for Skullcrown, and she doesn't mess around. Skullcrown can attack all enemies at once, which is super useful for dungeons or fighting off hordes. But if two of the three girl bosses are knocked down, Harvest Jack will come in swinging, cause he's got one of the highest health pools in the game. So good luck taking down my team. And that's not all. Raid just passed their second year anniversary. Happy birthday, Raid. Mwah. So they're releasing a brand new batch of epic and legendary champions, which look amazing, as well as a second version of Doom Tower. That means new rewards, new gear, and two new brutal bosses to take on, the Celestial Griffin and the Eternal Dragon. But they're no match for Team Girl Boss. With all these new updates, features, special events, tournaments, and free gifts, it's never been easier to get started. If you'd like to lead your very own team of girl bosses, hit the link in the description or scan my QR code, and you'll get your free epic champion, Jotun, 100k silver, 50 gems, and the three ancient shards so you can summon some awesome champions as soon as you get in-game. All the treasure will be waiting for you here, but they'll only be available for the next 30 days and only for new players. You can find me under the name Illimation, and I'd love for you to join the Girl Boss Clan. It's that easy, so I hope to see you there. Until then, back to my first Pokemon game. It started like any other child's Pokemon career. One fateful day, my virtual mother kicked me out of the house and told me to go touch some grass. I said stay out of the tall grass. So my virtual childhood best friend and I set out on our adventure. As the game goes, you find the local mad scientist, AKA Professor Rowan, checking out the lake. But when he leaves, he forgets his suitcase. Ho ho ho. Well, my mom did tell me to touch some grass, so don't mind if I do. <laughs> the suitcase has Pokemon in it. We have to use them. Up until this game, I didn't really know that much about Pokemon, like what types are weak against what. I just thought they were cute, but I had to make a decision. So I figured, well, fire's pretty dangerous. Chimchar, I choose you. Nice. After that, you go home and your mom tells you to return the Pokemon to the professor in the next town over, Sand Gem Town. Oh, oh what? wow, you're pretty good. Hey, why don't you become a Pokemon trainer, hey? Do I get to touch grass? You sure do. So with my virtual parents' permission, I set out to become a Pokemon master. Except, not really. Again, I was maybe nine years old at the time and I had just finished Nintendogs, so... I didn't bother catching any Pokemon that I didn't think were cute, <laughs> or at least useful. The first Pokemon I caught was Starly, because it was hard fighting off all these wild Pokemon with just Chimchar. And two Pokemon worked pretty well, though it got a little harder when other trainers on my route wanted to battle me, so I avoided them. Can't lose if you don't try. I'd run around them, duck and hide, or sometimes I'd just find a different path entirely, even if it was treacherous. What can I say? I'm a lover, not a fighter. But that was the entire point of the game, so... <sighs> I did what I had to do. I came, I saw, I conquered, and I stole some kid's lunch money. 
Eventually though, I was getting outnumbered by these kids and their Pokemon, so I needed to bring another member onto the Illimation Dream Team. And thankfully, that's when I stumbled upon Shinx. Look how cute he is. Aw, oh, what a good boy, Shinx. After that, I made it to the next town, Jubilife City. And okay, look, there's a building there called the Trainer's School where I did have the opportunity to learn everything I should have known by now about Pokemon. But did I make use of that wonderful tool? Heck no, I'm nine years old, I'm here to vibe. So I continued on my merry way and then my childhood best friend betrayed me. He challenged me to battle. Like, dude, I thought we were friends. You of all people should know I hate battling, but there was no way around it. If I wanted to continue the game, I had to defeat him. So I did what I had to do. I smoked him and stole his lunch money. I then arrived in Orberg City. I don't know how to say that. And I was excited to receive my first gym badge against the rock type gym leader. Unfortunately, I learned that fire doesn't do much to rock and I should have picked a grass or water Pokemon to make things easier. Oh, Shanks, what did- Oh, okay. Uh, can you beat the gym leader now? Sick. One badge down, seven more to go. And the next badge to get was the forest badge. So I continued my journey into Floroma Town. And that's where I found the accessories shop. And later, I got to dress up my Pokemon and put them in beauty pageants. Look how cute they are. After that, I headed into the Valley Windworks, where I caught Pachirisu and Shellos, because they were cute. Uh, who are you? I'm Commander Mars of Team Galactic, and we're here to take over the world one battle at a time. After that, I headed into Eterna Forest. And boy, was that a tough trip. Lots of Pokemon to fight, lots of lunch money to steal, lots of grass to touch. But I made it through to Eterna City, and it was time to get my second gym badge. I was feeling pretty good about it too. It was a grass gym, and I had fire Pokemon but this gym had some new challenges. Our second badge is what you seek. You must fight the traitors in the trees. In the trees? Yes, the trees! Wait, where are you going? Back to the forest. There's lots of trees there. My nine-year-old hubris had finally caught up to me. I was so dumb and I got so stuck, I clocked 100 hours looking for the gym leader in Eterna Forest. It got so bad that a bunch of my Pokemon evolved and they hit such high levels that they wouldn't listen to me anymore. And the only way to solve that is by getting the second gym badge. And this is where I would put my second gym badge. If I had one, I got so fed up, I dropped the game completely. But that's when I started my first Animal Crossing game. And one fateful day, while I let my friend check out my Pokemon file, they said, Hey, uh, someone wants to battle you? Oh yeah, they're annoying, just run around them. Well, they said they were, uh, a gym leader? What? Give me that. So yeah, turns out the gym leader was in the gym. Who would have thought? Not me. After that, I got the rest of my gym badges without any trouble. Mostly because my Pokemon were so buff, it didn't matter what type they were up against. I didn't end up beating the Elite Four, but that's okay. I had fun. Plus, I preferred the beauty pageants. I guess what I'm trying to say is, Pokemon can be really competitive and serious, but if that's not how you play, that's fine. Games are made to be enjoyed, and there's no right or wrong way to have fun. So with that, thank you for watching my videos. Look up a walkthrough if you get stuck in a game, and as always, stay safe. Good boy, Luxray, that's a good boy.